What's up friends, Dustin here again and got parts for the Audi. We're gonna go ahead and install them today and see how it goes. Oh yeah, we got parts boxes. Oh. Yep, getting rid of that air ride, going with some nice coilovers. Went with a company that had pretty good reviews on their suspension products and we're gonna do a full air ride delete on this. So the tanks, compressor, uh, struts, uh, shocks, and airbags are all coming out of this thing. Gonna replace it with coilovers and uh, we're gonna give you a review on how it goes after that. So stay with us. I'm gonna show you guys some of what we're doing with it. Okay guys, just got that uh, first strut replaced on this thing. I'm gonna grab the light here. All right, pulled out the old assembly, replaced it with a new coilover. It wasn't too hard. Uh, getting it back together after everything sprung apart was probably the hardest part for one guy. It kinda would help to have two people on this job for sure. But uh, basically this giant piece up here is the strut tower. Uh, that's what the strut actually mounts into uh, and then that's bolted to the, the unibody on the chassis of the car um, You got these two arms here at the top of the assembly They've got little ball and sockets that go into this that all has to come apart And then down here You do have to pull that lower ball joint out uh, to get this part of the control arm down far enough then all you gotta do is unbolt that. Unbolt the, I think it's like six little bolts at the top. Um, take the assembly apart. Slip in your new coilover strut and put it all back together. Well, like I said, the hardest part was getting everything put back together after it had pressure on it because the old airbags come out pretty easy because they have no lift since they're blown. It was easy to move them up and out, yank them. This thing, uh, this thing has all the pressure on it already. So it's at full extend all the time. So it's really hard to compress it to try to get it to fit into this area and then get all the bolt joints and stuff back on while they're under pressure. Um, so yeah, it comes out real easy. It's kind of a pain to get it back in, but uh, if you have two hands uh, or an extra pair of hands from a friend or something, you can definitely get it out. So. So first one's done. I'm gonna knock out the other three of these real quick. And we're gonna go take it for a spin, see how it goes. All right guys, got the front in. That all seemed to go pretty well. Now we're gonna be working on the rear. Uh, I'm hoping it goes a little bit easier because there isn't any steering components that we have to remove um, for the rear. We do have to loosen up the lower control arm 
um, and remove the parking brake cable in order to get that down low enough um, to slide the new strut structure back up in there. So we're going to hit the rear right now and uh, get that back together. All right, she's finally done. It's getting pretty late. It's uh, definitely dark outside here. Uh, computers disconnected, the air compressors disconnected. All four struts have been replaced with uh, coilovers. It sits at about ride level two, and it's supposed to have compared comfort to that too. Uh, the reviews say that it turns a little bit sharper. Uh, than the airbag system did, so it's got a slightly more sporty handling. Uh, and uh, I think it looks great, you know? It looks like it's supposed to, and I'm not gonna have the headache of the air ride anymore. It's completely gone. Um, so with the computer disconnected and stuff, the car doesn't even realize that it has air suspension, so there's no air codes or anything. Um, so that's pretty cool, guys. I think this car is still gonna be fairly reliable um, now that we've defeated the biggest problem with these and I'm pretty excited to keep driving it um, and I'll have that as an issue constantly in my head about when is this gonna break um, so we're pretty happy about that I'm gonna get this thing on the road tonight guys and uh, I'll catch you next time God bless you guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time